Hi, Bill Smoyer here from Access Hardware Supply. Today we will cover what I call AD Lock 101 to give you a better understanding of the product lines and applications. Schlage AD Series locks are unique and can be upgraded as your customer's security needs change. In fact, AD actually stands for Adaptable Design. The AD Series combines all the hardware components required at the door for a complete access control system into one integrated design that includes the electrified lock, credential reader, request to exit and request to enter sensors, door position switch, tamper guard, and more. AD locks can be configured for four different classes. The AD200 is offline controlled by manual programming or with the SMS Express software. The AD250 offline lock carries access rights on a MagStripe card for campus-like applications. This allows dynamic rights management on the card without reprogramming each lock in the facility. The AD300 online hardwired lock uses the RS45 network to connect to the access control system. The AD400 online wireless lock communicates via 900 megahertz wireless to a panel interface module or PIM and is controlled by the access control system. All AD locks are available for cylindrical, mortise or exit device configurations for maximum convenience and flexibility. Let's take a quick look at each. Cylindrical locks have the key cylinders in the lever. The standard back set is two and three quarter inch. A mortise lock without deadbolt has a chassis that is mortised into the door. A common back set is two and three quarter inches. The armor front plate on the door edge is eight inches and the cylinder is above the lever. A mortise lock with deadbolt has a deadbolt that is thrown by a key or thumb turn inside the door. With a rim exit device, the latch extends from the device. Rim exit devices are primarily used on single doors. With a surface vertical rod exit device, latches extend from the top and bottom of the device. SVR exit devices are used primarily on double doors. With a concealed vertical rod exit device, latches extend from the top and bottom of the door. CVR exit devices are primarily used on double doors. Finally, with a mortise exit device, the latch extends from the chassis in the door. These are used primarily on single doors. AD locks are also available in a variety of different functions, including apartments, classrooms, offices, or privacy applications. Lock function is determined by the access control system. The AD locks can be accessed with a keypad, mag stripe, proximity, smart card, or keypad and card. They can also be configured to read the government FIPS enabled credential. There are eight different lever designs and eight finishes to match a variety of building decors as shown here. AD locks can also be ordered to operate with the end user's key system like key and lever, small format interchangeable core, and large format interchangeable core. Regarding the handing of the door, this handy chart maps it all out for you. Finally, an online configuration tool can assist in generating the part number and a picture of the lock. That's about it for this short training video. Remember, as a master or legion distributor, AHS has the AD locks and support products you need in stock, ready to ship. Questions? Give us a call at 855-847-5691 and visit accesshardware.com for a wide array of product support and training resources. Thanks for watching and learning.